I am at a point in my bodybuilding career where I really need someone who's going to take me to that next level because I'm someone who's super type A and I'm definitely doing going to do what it takes to um, get my pro card whatever whenever that time may be so I need someone who's going to be very type A like me and structured organized um, tell me exactly what I need to do when you know when I'm in prep I'm paying someone or an off season, you know, anytime I'm here for the long haul. Um, I'm a very disciplined, dedicated girl when it comes to this sport. So I need a coach that's going to treat me and give me what I need. So I need someone who's very organized, which to be quite honest, Adam wasn't, and I've told him my feelings about this. I don't want any bad blood, but I'm just being very open and honest. Um, he was not organized. There were things in peak week that happened, like my first peak week before, I think it was two weeks before North Americans, he called me and asked me what my macros were. Um, even after things were corrected in my peak week and show day plans, they were never adjusted and resent to me. Everything was just really all over the place. The response times were way longer than they should be as coming from a coach, um, especially during peak week and prep in those times where you really need someone. Um, I also am someone who needs a meal plan or prefers a meal plan in prep versus macros. Um, and I'm very on point, so I like to know exactly what to eat when. I keep my foods and prep very simple. I don't believe in um, for me personally, where I'm at with my goals, I don't believe in macro dieting for prep. I don't think you should be eating foods with a ton of sweetener and things that you don't digest well when you're close to show day. I just want that extra um, level. Um, everything really comes into play when you're competing on a national level, so everything matters when you eat it. What? <laughs> what you're eating when, like I need exact meal times, exact foods I need to eat to the gram, um, how much water I need to drink when, the amount of salt I need to drink, eat when, like everything at this level matters. So I need a coach who's going to make me literally not have to think at all and just tell me what to do, what to eat, when, and um, especially for peak week and show day, and the less I have to think, the better. You know, I am a coach myself for Lifestyle and Bikini Girls, so I'm fully capable of making my own meal plan And if someone gives me macros, but that is not what I pay someone to do for me. So I'm not going to pay a coach to do something that makes me work more. I'd rather pay someone who does exactly what I need and, you know, just less thinking, execute, let's go that kind of thing um, and someone who responds like professionally not with just like a voice message like I just I don't know it's, it just Adam is a great human and he was a great coach for me and got me to where I needed to be but now that I'm at this level I need more um, and I need more responsiveness and communication with someone. So I have talked to multiple people. Um, I really dug in this coach shopping stuff, um, talked into numerous coaches. I'm still appalled at the number of um, poor coaches that I have come across that charge so much money that literally have no knowledge or just like can't even really communicate even when you're just like talking to them to inquire. So that's kind of mind blowing to me, but I have made a decision and I'm super excited. I'm going to start with my new coach mid-October um, for improvement season and then obviously see how it goes, but I'm very confident that it'll be the best fit for me. I've never been so excited to work with someone um, and I am going to be working with a female again which is um, just a new experience for me. So I'm excited, I really am. Um, I'll let you guys know who it is and 
reveal my new coach soon, but super stoked to work with her um, in mid-October. I would start now, but I just know after being in prep for like so long, nine plus months, that I need a physical and mental break. Um, I'm still reversing properly myself. I'm fully capable of doing that and just slowly introducing the foods that I cut out. Um, today was actually the first protein bar I've eaten all of 2020, so it was delicious. Hopefully my stomach reacts well. haven't had any issues yet, so that's great news. Um, just slowly introducing sweeteners and foods that I haven't had in a while. Um, slowly limiting cardio, increasing my macros. Um, so the reverse process is done by me so far, but it's been going super well. Um, my current macros are 140 grams protein, 55 grams fat, and 265 grams carbs. Plus, I give myself one untracked day per week. Um, my cardio is currently at three 30-minute study, study state sessions per week, so a lot lower than what I was doing in prep. Um, I am having way more strength in the gym already. It's mind-blowing. My metabolism is on fire. My body's just like absorbing all the food like a sponge and using it to grow, so that's amazing. Um, I'm only up like not like maybe a pound, not even from stage weight. So slowly but surely increasing those macros, getting my strength back, lowering cardio, all is good in the world. Super pleased with how things are going, um, especially since I'm coaching myself, which you know I'm always fully capable of, but I like having a coach, I like having an accountability, and I like focusing on my clients and not overthinking what I need to be doing. So it really just helps all around, keeping me sane and being held accountable. So super excited to start with my new coach mid-October. We'll keep you guys updated on how that goes, but I'm sure it's going to be a great fit. Um, as far as future plans go, I think we already like established that, but I am obviously planning to grow my lower body, focus on that, um, get my macros, hormones, metabolism healthy, and just enjoy a little bit of life, focus on my business and my family and Joey and my puppy and just like enjoy the little things in life again like a skinny marg or a glass of wine, a Reese's cup, you know, fitting those things in moderation. Um, you really enjoy them when you haven't had them in a while so I'm just going to enjoy that, enjoy the holidays with my family um, and I like, honestly I like growing season so I'm excited for this one. Excited to get my butt big and juicy <laughs> and hide it in leggings and big sweaters but yeah I'm excited to be healthy and be a little bit more normal of a human again. Um, I will never, knock on wood, never prep for nine months. Don't recommend it to anyone um, but unfortunately a lot of people have had to do that this year so Definitely an experience, definitely not one I want to do again, but <laughs> um, I think that covers like pretty much everything that you guys have asked me. Oh, um, I do like plan on taking six to seven months to a year off. Um, I'll, most of the coaches I talked to, that's what they recommended as well, just kind of see where I'm at in that time frame. Um, maybe even longer, but really just going to kind of go with the flow there. Um, I am someone who typically loves a normal <laughs> amount of prep, so I don't foresee me taking more than a year off. But um, And I like cutting in the warmer months, so we shall see. But I will keep you guys updated. Please let me know what you want to hear in future vlogs. And I am only taking on one more client for October 1st enrollment, but I will be taking on more for October 15th and November 1st, so visit my website if you want to talk about coaching or schedule a telephone consult. It's abfitnesstraining.com. Please let me know what you guys want to hear in future week's vlogs, and I will keep you updated. Stay tuned.